Hey everybody, welcome to Bob Key TV. 2016 is upon us, and I'm gonna make a few very bold predictions. Are you ready? Our last chance to see Tom Bonin versus Fabian Cancellara, two of the greatest cobbled classic specialists of all times. We'll go at each other one more time. Fabian Cancellara announcing his retirement at the end of this year. Bonin versus Cancellara. I've got it at one apiece. One Flanders, one Roubaix. If I had to guess, which I'm doing, <laughs> I would say Bonin wins Flanders and Fabian Cancellara rules the pave, conquers the cobbles of Paris Roubaix in 2016. Giro, Vuelta, Tour de France. Your winner of the Giro this year, Alejandro Valverde, baby. Vuelta. Finally, Joaquin Rodriguez is going to win a Grand Tour. Finally, he's going to get that elusive Grand Tour title. Watch for Jaquan Rodriguez to win the Vuelta and Tour de France. Another Spaniard, Alberto Contador. Sorry, Chris Froome. <laughs> You're going to have to wait another year to win your third. Watch for Contador to be back at his very best. He was good at the Tour last year but he had already won the Giro d'Italia in the springtime. Contador tried to do the double, fell a little bit short at the Tour de France. He'll be back at his best at this year's Tour and be able to drop Froome in the mountains and win the Tour de France again. Let's move forward a little bit further in the summertime to the Olympic road race for the men and the women. For the men, Michael Kwiatkowski. Change teams to be highly motivated in the Sky program. Might have a little bit of help from some of his teammates on Sky but during the Olympic road race. But watch for Kwiatkowski to win Olympic gold. For the women, Marianne Vols will be back. The woman from the Netherlands, one of the greatest female cyclists of all time. Plagued by injuries recently, but I think she'll be back at her best. And when she's riding well, nobody can touch her, especially when the stakes are high like they are at the Olympic Games. Cav versus Kittle. Nine sprint stages at this year's Tour de France. And Mark Cavendish will be the best sprinter at this year's Tour. He'll be back at his best. He has a fantastic team. Dimension Data won a stage last year in the Tour de France as MTN Kubeka. Same team, different sponsor with the addition of Cavendish and Mark Renshaw, his number one lead out man. All right, I'm going to go to the Rainbow Curse. Peter Sagan will have the curse lifted. Peter Sagan is going to have his best season ever and win plenty of races, including perhaps a monument in the springtime. Watch for Sagan to win Milano San Remo in the Rainbow Stripes. Great bike racer. And watch for Sagan to be flying in this year's Tour de France. Bust and breakout. Bust. Sorry to say, Marcel Kittle is going to be a major disappointment for the Edix team. Don't think they have the structure. The problem is, maybe they're too good. Their lead-out train are capable of winning races in their own right. And if Kittle misfires, he won't have the whole giant team working for him like he has had the last few years. Kittle, maybe 2017, but it's going to be a tough year for Kittle. Breakout. Fabian Aru is going to have another great year. He'll be right there with the stars in the Tour de France. The Astana team is working for Aru, winner of last year's Volta. He's going to push Froome and Contador to the absolute limit. Those are my predictions for 2016. If you have any comments, please go to the comments section. Feel free to leave comments, ask questions, and tell your friends to watch Bob Key TV every chance they get.